Hi everybody, I'm Laura Iman. You know, burnout among women has reached national epidemic proportions and it doesn't have to be that way. Do you find that you are getting more and more stressed from stuff going on at work, from stuff going on at home, from thoughts and feelings that you have that are negative and toxic and they're just building up inside of you? And you know what happens? It becomes eventually one big fat burnout <laughs> and you find yourself unmotivated. I don't feel resilient. I'm not, uh, I'm cranking with, cranky with people. I'm not sleeping. I'm overeating. I'm tired all the time. I'm apathetic. I'm scared. I'm anxious and I feel guilty. I feel guilty all the time because I'm not working hard enough. I got imposter syndrome. All that stuff is just toxic, negative sludge that's building up here. And we don't want that. You're probably a leader in your industry. You're a manager, you're an employee. Everybody is a leader of their own life, but our lives have gotten away from us. We're running around trying to do it all. That's a huge recipe for burnout. I have a complimentary mental toughness manual with my five favorite tips that Navy SEALs use on the battlefield and Olympic athletes use to train for the gold medal to help them alleviate burnout to stay on course, to stay resilient and motivated so that they can do their missions on the battlefield and they can compete well for the gold medal. I'd love to send it to you. It might be, uh, it might help with some nuggets of wisdom for you as to how you can interrupt that cycle of pain going on in your head. I'm freaked out, I'm worried, I'm burned out, I'm tired, I don't care. I'm frustrated, I'm guilty, all that stuff. Look, burnout will not go away unless you interrupt it with a very radical, different way of thinking and behaving. I mean, I was so burnt out last year from work. I love my work. I love my clients, but I was work, 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 work all the time. And I was pretty anxious from the news. And a friend of mine said, girlfriend, you got to get away from the TV and you got to get away from the computer. And you've got to go to six weeks of flying trapeze camp. <laughs> Boy, talk about a radical solution for a radical problem. I'm terrified getting up on a two-foot kitchen stool. But it interrupted that cycle of pain that was going on in my head. Now, look, I'm not suggesting that you run out tomorrow and sign up for bungee lessons or go jump out of a helicopter with a, a parachute on your back, unless that's something that you'd like to do. For me, flying trapeze camp was a, gr a delightful break. It was challenging. It was terrifying. But I came away with more confidence. I had fun. And, I, and my burnout dissolved. And I was able to get back to my desk with a spring in my step. Most of the time, burnout's going to take more than just flying through the air at 28 feet. You're going to need to completely develop a strategy for how to think, how to behave, and how to run your life because chances are you're probably saying yes to a lot of people, not setting a whole lot of boundaries. You're frustrated. You're guilty. I can help. Sign up for this mental toughness manual. I'd love to send it to you. Just fill out the form below and uh, let me know. Um, when you read it, what your thoughts are. In fact, you can book a complimentary coaching call <clears throat> with me. I'd like to hear what's keeping you up at night. What triggers you? What sets you off? What have you done in the past that's worked? And what have you done in the past that hasn't worked? Mental toughness growth is a long, slow, very rewarding build. So give it a shot. Sign up for my five mental toughness tips. Hashtag, oh yes, you can. I believe in you.